previously on A Hat in Time. Prepare to feel what Mafia do to old lady! Now, on A Hat in Time. Alright, if we keep going at it, uh, we'll be done with this. Give me a second. Uh, calculate, um, calculate up oh, right about. Showtime, baby! Down with the Mafia! Have you come to make another purchase? Yummy. Uh, thank you for the badge. Pin. Thank you for the PNG. before anybody eats the Mafia's cooking. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the Mafia prepared food. Mm, fair enough. Whatever problem is, Mafia sure you can deal with it. You look like tenacious type, not leave problem alone. Other little girl run into kitchen. If you are looking for her, she look like unruly type. Keep eye on her. Uh, I'll have to come back here when we get more skills. Go ahead, 
ahead, kid. Open this thing up and I'll keep guard here. Um, boom, 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 boom. How much yarn do I have? Sixteen. Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. You're in the heart of our town, standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness, including this hourglass piece. If you want it, we'll have to settle it in true mafia style. Lights! Action! It is showtime! Item for nerds. Are they some sort of wreck? Wait, huh? Whoa, what? What? Did um, did you know about this? Crazy! 
be. Do you even realise what could be done with these? We can make it so that you never got punched in the face by the Mafia that one time. We could beat up the Mafia, travel back in time, and then be in love again. No, wait. Uh, we can make it so the Mafia never arrived on the island. Wait, wait, wait. Even better. We could be crime fighting time travellers. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. You have all this power, and you're not going to use it to fight evil? If you're not going to use them to fight evil, then I will. I'm not going to let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself! You have my word on it! We're not done with Mafia Town yet. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Ugh. Act six. I'm going to have to cut this video like in half. Look at mess. This is terrible. Someone turn on all faucets in Mafia Town. Same faucets that control the town volcano. Was it you, child? No? Mafia think he saw a little girl turn on all faucets. Little Hat Kid, can you save Mafia Town by turning off all faucets? If you close all, maybe water start flowing again. Oh no, yikes. The entire ocean became lava. Okay, I'm going, going. with the lesser evil here. If Mafia, if not Mafia, <laughs> and I, well, I call her Mafia. Yeah. Uh, but if Mustache Girl did all this, then, you know, bearing her to the Mafia is just... 
Like, the Mafia is a lesser evil. Mafia are now the residents of the island. And because you can't have the island to go back to the way it was, I guess you just decided, eh, you know, you know what, I'm going to, you know, use all these faucets, I'm going to just make it so everything burns up in lava. Ah, yes. No one can have the island. The Mafia has the island, and no one will have the island, pretty much. Consider the Mafia to be allies, currently. <laughs> well, at least they didn't do this. One second, I have to test this. I can get this, then I can probably get what's up there. Mafia no longer need to eat lava for breakfast. Amazing! Please, take this as trophy. You are truly the hero of Mafia Town! Like, the Mafia aren't half bad. I mean, they make big statues of the main character. I mean, look at that. They're not that bad. you have here. Sorry for the break and entering. I just really wanted to see what an alien spaceship is like. You know, I expected aliens to be more green and probably with a thirst for flesh. But I guess you aliens come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Otherwise, you won't know if you're stepping on grass or quicksand. Don't know how to identify relics? Fear now. Cook and Cat is here. I'll let you have this burger cushion relic for free. 
You can identify this relic at the podium. If you place them on the podium in the correct order, you might be able to make sense of it. If you're able to identify a relic, something great might happen. You never know. So keep an eye out for relics. I've taught you everything I know about relics. Burger. <sighs> More rifts. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun to edit. Nine percent sure I know where the where most of these are. I think there's one like right over here. No, oh, I, I I I apparently suck. Give me a second. Boom. Let's hurry up. So it detaches. Over there, one over there. One. It's oh. actually a good thing because the water should bring me up. Oh, it doesn't have that sort of property. Okay, I never knew that. The other one looked like it was going down to a lower level, therefore it should be somewhere around down here. No, it's up. Boom, 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 boom. Now I can only assume that the rest are on the other side of the island because of how it's split up and all that jazz. Uh, I'll go up here to quickly check, see if I see any of them on. These levels, no, no, they're not. Oh. One's probably down here. Here we go. Okay. 
Uh, where could the last one be? I'm assuming that's nowhere on the lighthouse. Because I can't get on top of it. Is it there? I could jump into fire. I know they say feel the burn, but huh. Yikes. Oh, I it was in plain sight. I even looked over it. I am. <laughs> Ah, uh, I am really stupid, ain't I? All right, boom. Let's trying to do map. Go and yeah, right point. Hey, I know I can go over there. You don't need to inform me every second game. Got the right stuff. Uh, so let's go to. Okay. you love abusing things like that? That happens occasionally. But you have to jump at it at the right angle, blah blah blah. Um. Heck yeah! My beautiful black little kitty cat. Yeah, you are. You're my yellow black kitty cat. this with one hand. I am currently petting my cat. Ah. Yep. Currently laying on my lap.
Ya. Yeah. <laughs> ah, maybe I'll pour a machine. Here you go. Ah, you can get up if you want now. Say, oh, say. Oh, I get sick on me. <laughs> All right, I will give you a love to after this midnight. Um, I think when we got her neutered, she kind of um. But, um, when we neutered her- well, when we got her spayed, sorry, using wrong words. Um, I'm pretty sure it kind of caused her stomach to inflate a little bit, just, you know, get a little bit of chub. Even without that, like, little chub of a condition. Um, it's still counter as an obese cat. She's a very sad cat. We got her with her brother named Shadow. And... Oh, adoptive brother. And Shadow is the cutest, nicest little kitty cat. Like, he would go under the blanket and snuggle with you, but he died of a heart problem. A heart complication. And ever since midnight has been depressed. Like, ever since her brother died, like, a couple of years ago, he's always been this quiet and depressed little cat. I've seen her cry a couple of times with the cat. Always makes me sad. I try to spend some time with her. She'll come up to me when she wants loves attention. Sad when you have a pet that dies and you have nothing. It, like it's not even your fault. Like dying of being overweight or running away and getting hit by a car. Something that's just bad. I have that seems bad, like, yeah, your pet got ran over by a car. If so, I'm sorry, but... It hurts more when they die to a complication 
that couldn't even be known to their owner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> 